Today we have almost every severe weather risk possible. Good morning, I'm meteorologist Pew, it's December 28th, 2025. So what we have is a mid-latitude cyclone that's currently in the Midwest right now and it's causing all of this. So starting north of this low from the Dakotas all the way to north of Michigan, you guys are dealing with snow and possibly a blizzard today. And this snowstorm slash blizzard is gonna occur from today all the way until Monday morning. Most places are expected to get about four to eight inches of snowfall, but some places could reach up to 10. And if you live around Lake Superior, you guys could get up to 14 inches or greater. And not to mention, we're gonna have a lot of wind from 25 to 35 miles per hour sustained and wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour which is why some places are going to feel like a blizzard eastern michigan especially those that live on the eastern portion of lake michigan you guys are expected to get lake effect snow around four to seven inches from tomorrow morning until tuesday morning though this may be more severe if you live on the northern part of michigan as this mid-latitude track when travels to the northeast it's actually going to linger a bit and so places east of lake erie and lake ontario you guys are gonna have lake effect snow from monday afternoon all the way till friday afternoon and so some of these areas could see one to two feet of snow in this duration but before that happens today from Ontario all the way from Pennsylvania to Maine you guys are going to have a lot of rain especially freezing rain and this is because if we look at the low levels we're having a lot of subtly above freezing temperatures being advected into this area and most of these areas already recently saw a snowstorm a couple days ago and so the surface it's going to be freezing and so what's going to happen is the precipitation is going to fall as snow and then melt in those above freezing temperatures and then once it gets to the surface freeze again and so freezing rain is possible this afternoon all the way until Monday evening and speaking of warm air we're going to actually have a warm front going from the Great Lakes from Chicago land all the way to upstate New York and so along this warm front we're gonna have a lot of consistent rain throughout the day and so the weather prediction center did issue a marginal risk from flash flooding but a slight risk around the New York area and this is because as this warm air comes in it's going to melt any snow that accumulated in this area and with the additional rain rivers and creeks are going to see some elevated waters now to the other side of this mid-latitude cyclone to the south this cold front is going to be coming all the way from the plains down to places like the Gulf and the Florida Panhandle and so in all these areas through today and Monday we're going to see freezing temperatures all the way south and accompanying this cold front we're going to see all of that gusty winds that we're seeing the blizzard from the north of that 25 to 35 miles per hour and wind gusts up to 50 or greater and for those in the southern plains while it is getting colder it is getting drier and with the windy conditions it's actually going to have a fire risk and funny enough this same cold front is going to produce a lot of easterly winds into the rocky mountains for places like new mexico and texas and so this area specifically from midnight into tomorrow you're going to see some snow now with the same cold front but starting with central illinois all the way down to texas around 1 p.m central time we're going to see some severe thunderstorms where the most severe risk is going to be from central illinois to central indiana where we have a five percent chance to see an isolated tornado and also wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour and so as this cold front passes through those in the midwest we're going to see wind chill temperatures in the negative teens